going to show you how I'm earning over a 195% annualized yield on USDC through a platform called Struct Finance. Now, this is made possible through the GMX platform, but specifically made possible through Struct Finance. Now, obviously, it's a little bit irrelevant, but I do think that Struct Finance has one of the best websites within the DeFi space. Now, I want to go ahead and briefly skim over the light paper of Struct Finance to tell you more about how exactly this project works. Struct Finance builds something called Structured Financial Products, and basically what that means is they're doing the hard work for you. So how these structured financial products slash systems could work is basically like this. And this is similar to how Struck Finance does it. They have a fixed yield as well as a variable yield vault. The variable yield vault takes on the majority of the risk. It's the first one to get hit in the case that the assets decline in value. With that being said, they also get a greater amount of the rewards. So in this case, they're getting 5 to 25% APY as opposed to maybe just the fixed 10% APY that the fixed yield vault is getting. Now, of course, the fixed yield vault can get hit, but it's the last one get hit. And the reason why is because it's taking on the lower yield for stability, whereas the variable yield is the one that's willing to take on more risk because it's going to get a higher yield in the case that the yield is higher. But remember, the yield could also go down below the fixed yield. It could be 5%. It could be 0%. It could go down negative because, of course, the vault could be losing money in the case that the assets decline. That's the basis of how struck finance and a structured financial product work. Now, as we talked about earlier, the fixed yield has a stable fixed yield. The thing is, it could get hit as far as principal assets in the case that there is, let's just say, a huge event that happens in the crypto space because the variable yield will get hit first. And in the case that the variable yield deposits go to absolutely nothing, that's when the fixed yield deposits are going to start to get hit, but that is very unlikely. On top of that, Struck Finance is also allowing for fixed yield opportunities through something called tranches. And basically what that does is split up the risk between a fixed yield and a variable yield. The variable yield, which is usually the higher yield, is the vault that is taking on the risk, whereas the fixed yield vault is the vault that is going to be completely stable and just have a fixed return. But with that being said, obviously the vault that's taking on the risk is going to get the way better return, but also have the risk in their case. So as you can see here, there are two different components of a yield bearing position within Struck Finance. There's the risk off investor and the risk on investor. The risk off is essentially just lending their money to the risk on vault. And of course, they have no market exposure because in the case that the price drops too much, those assets are going to be sold to make sure that the risk off investor doesn't have any exposure. And with that being said, the risk off investor gets a fixed yield. This could be a 10% annualized return, whereas the risk on investor is going to get the variable yield, which of course the investor in the vault is going to hope that it's going to be greater than 10%. And I do want to go ahead and dive a little bit deeper into something called tranches, which we talked about a little bit already, but they have something called USDC to USDC through the GMX platform. This is their first structured vault. Now, basically these are all just different subscriptions. So as you can see, this one's July 1st through September 23rd. This one's July 1st through July 29th. This one's June 23rd through September 15th. So obviously they have different offerings throughout the month. And of course, if you do go with a longer period of time, you are going to get a higher fixed yield if you are in the fixed yield vault. Now, over here on the left, you're going to have the fixed yield vaults. These are the vaults that are supposed to have no market exposure. But remember, in the case of the variable yield vaults get drained, then it does move on to the fixed yield vaults. And over here on the right, you're going to have the variable vaults, the ones that actually take on the risk. So let's take a look at how that works. Let's just say somebody deposits $500 into the fixed yield vault, yielding 10%, and somebody deposits $500 into the variable yield vault. So say that position is a GLP position and the yield is derived from GLP. Well, then this full thousand dollars right here is going to be deposited into GLP. But let's just say that GLP loses some value. It goes down maybe 10% in price. Well, then there's a $100 loss on the GLP position. Instead of splitting that loss between the fixed and variable yield vault, it goes directly to the variable yield vault. So instead of both vaults being down 10%, which would be $50 each to equal this $100, the variable yield yield vault would just assume all the risk over here and the variable yield vault would be down a hundred dollars which is also 20 percent now obviously that's why they don't just go into super high risk strategies to give a super high return or super high risk with gmx the glp index asset is composed of a ton of different blue chip assets and matter of fact it's almost 50 percent stable coins so in this case it's composed of avalanche ethereum bitcoin as was well usdc so let's just say it's 50 50 between market exposed assets and stable coins coins. In the case of the market exposed assets go up 10%, GLP will only go up 5% because it's only halfway composed of market exposed assets. Same thing goes vice versa. If those market exposed assets go down 10%, then GLP will only go down 5%. 
So since the risk on investor, also known as the variable yield vault, is taking on the majority of the risk, well, they're still taking on practically the same amount of risk if they're to just hold full exposed assets like AVAX, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and so on and so forth. And that's just because GLP price does not move as much as Bitcoin and Ethereum and AVAX price. Now, obviously, the other risk you have here is the traders on GMX winning too many of their trades. Because remember, as a GLP liquidity provider, you are the counterparty to all trades on the GMX platform. So if a trader wins $100 on a trade that takes a hundred dollars out from the reserves of GLP, which drops the GLP price. But if a trader loses a hundred dollars on their trade, then that puts a hundred dollars into the reserves of GLP, which ultimately increases the GLP price. And of course, the other thing that can increase and decrease the price is just simply Ethereum and Bitcoin and the other index assets rising and falling in price. So a fixed tranche is going to be for those conservative investors looking for a stable return, whereas the variable tranche is going to be for the ones that are willing to take on a little bit of risk and of course get that higher yield if there is one. Now, currently, a lot of these different vaults are being boosted and incentivized with wrapped AVAX because, of course, Struck Finance is on the Avalanche network. Now, let me go ahead and tell you how exactly this boost works. So, as you can see on this one, there is a boost of 35%. If I deposit, let's just say, $1,000 in this variable vault, what's going to happen is there's going to be $350, which is 35%, deposited on my behalf as well. So, my total deposit is going to be $1,350. Now, let's talk about how these boosts that they are currently offering actually work. So this boost is a 50% boost, but that is an annualized boost. So this vault right here lasts for a period of 90 days and it has a 50% annualized boost. So we need to find out the boost that's going to happen within that 90 day time period. So we'll basically just find the daily boosted rate and then we'll multiply that by 90 days. So when we deposit into this vault, we're essentially getting a 12.32% boost. So that means that if we deposit $1,000 into this vault, we're getting the 12.32% boost. We're getting an additional $123 deposited on our behalf. So that takes our initial deposit from $1,000 to $1,123, but we only had to put up $1,000. And that boost is from the AVAX incentives provided by Struct Finance as well as Avalanche Platform. So we're now earning this 15.8% yield on the $1,123 as opposed to just the $1,000. But I do want to mention that you can't just invest into this pool and then instantly withdraw your investment or anything like that. You are locked in until the maturity date because this is a structured financial product. And same thing goes if you don't even get the boost or you just want to go into the fixed yield. You are locked in until the maturity date, which is another thing to mention and another thing to keep mind of. I personally think this is an amazing concept within the decentralized finance space and a much needed concept because now you can separate risk between growth and returns, which is an amazing thing to do. If somebody wants to just have something very, very stable, they could go with this fixed financial product that offers about 12.5% or 10% annualized. Whereas if they want something that's a little bit more risky as well as, you know, has a better return, you could go ahead and get this boost, which is a limited time incentive, as well as get the higher yield. And the best part is some of these vaults right here, which this one is the one that I'm currently in, is doing about 190% annually. And that's just because the GMX yield was super high last week. Now, the other thing I will say is you can't cash out your returns instantly. Your returns come when you actually withdraw your deposit. So when I choose to withdraw my $998 that I deposited, I'm going to get all my returns with that. So ideally, I'm going to have more than $998. Now, let's talk about why this yield right here is super high. The reason why the yield is super high is because GLP token has rose in price since I initially deposited or since this subscription started. So I still have a deposit of 998 USDC since I deposited as USDC. But the thing is, I'm also going to make all the money from GLP going up in price as was well the yield. It's just going to be paid to me in yield through the Struct Finance platform. Now, Struct already has a $210,000 TVL and it's only been out for a few weeks by now. And they also plan to implement a ton of other vaults as opposed to just USDC to USDC. I imagine they'll implement a wrap Bitcoin one, an Ethereum one, as well as ones that go with other platforms like Trader Joe, maybe even Uniswap V3, but that's just me speculating. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like as well as subscribe when notifications turned on. I do want to go ahead and mention that my deposit was funded by the Struck Finance team, so I can showcase you guys the actual returns. But other than the deposit, I wasn't paid anything additional and I'm making this video on my own free will. I hope to see you guys in the next one and peace out.